So, at the centre of Apps World are a bunch of keynotes, um, which kind of um, you know, add a bit of theatre to the proceedings. Because ultimately, while uh, the individual stands are awesome, as particularly the gaming area, I just love. Um, you know, it, it, it gets a bit samey after a while. It's a bit sort of conferency. And so, what I love about the keynote area is it adds a little bit of a bit of theatre. Uh, and so, I was given carte blanche actually to talk about anything I wanted to talk about, and I um, I chose wearables because I think that's one of the most exciting sectors in terms of apps um, or app-driven, uh, you know, hardware, software. Um, and I talked about everything. I, mean, I, I use my obsession with triathlons as the centre for my chat uh, and, and all the, the metrics that are available now from various devices. Um, I've got a watch that measures how high my knees are when I'm running, how long my feet are on the ground for, what my stroke is, is like, how, uh, what the timing, the cadence is of my stroke when I'm running. Uh, the, ca the, the cadence on my bicycle, the pressure I'm putting onto the crank in, in terms of wattage. I'm also then able to use that data with GPS data and simulate my ride when I get back to the garage so I can do a ride that I did in the Surrey Hills in my garage with three wraparound screens. So that's all done because of, of wearables. Um, I also went off into the, not the far future, but the near future, talked about medical, medical implications. A pill that I tested, for example, uh, that gave you the, uh, your core body temperature via Bluetooth. Um, so yeah, a whole the gamut of different, different things which cross the apps uh, world sort of sector uh, but also take it sideways into kind of futurology. So hopefully added a dose of, a, a little dose of glitz and a, a dose of uh, future to the whole apps world offering. I think any sort of concrete notion of apps is going to blur. So, uh, you know, services really, utilities are what we're talking about. How they're delivered kind of doesn't matter. What I mean by that is, at the moment, when you think about apps, your mental image is the, you know, it's iOS or Android and, and those little icons, right? That's going and what, what's, what's arriving is a more seamless expression of, uh, of data or uh, services. So, a wearable device. Google Glass is, is, is one example. It's possibly the worst example because I think, as you know, as a conversation starter, uh, Google Glass is really, really important. Meaning not just a, a conversation, but a, a whole new uh, sector. But it's not the finished device. It's not the device that we're going to wear in the future. It's going to be something a few stages on from that, which won't feel like an app. For example, I used a mind control device during my chat. Uh, I talked about the um, NeuroSky headset, which is $99, and you get some limited phone functionality using your brain, okay? That's, that is only going to improve. The whole exponential curve tells us that when a technology has, you know, a use that customers want, uh, it, will, it will be driven vertically upwards at a, at a vast rate uh, based on simple, uh, uh, you know, Moore's, Moore's Law style uh, predictions um, from people that are far more intelligent than I am. We're going to get there with mind control. That's, that's going to happen. When, you, when you, for example, you've got uh, either a retinal projector or a device that can show you graphical output, which you can control to a certain extent via thoughts or uh, gesture, then suddenly the notion of apps is blurred. So the, it's just about services. It's about thinking and doing. And that, that's where it's going. But behind it will be the kind of back end, the kind of infrastructure, uh, and the kind of uh, you know, uh, coding that, that is the staple of the people at this event. I'm a gamer, so the um, sudden arrival of VR in the shape of Oculus, and Morpheus, and what Samsung are doing is one of the things that excites me most. Um, I see Oculus everywhere around the, sh around the show floor. Uh, it's a great illustrate, il illustration tool. It's a great way of getting eyes on whatever it is that you're doing and it's also an open platform. Uh, it's also, to a certain extent, led a, a kind of resurgence in, in PC, and, 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 and I'm a, a big PC gamer, so I love all that. Um, and I think the first sort of VR smartphone-driven solution uh, will be announced in the next 12 months. I don't know what it's going to be. I know this much, that you know, Samsung and what they're doing by basically using their S5 or S4 screens in, in headsets is going to drive the price down even further, as if it needed to be cheaper though. I mean, Oculus is already 350 quid if you buy the dev kit. 
Well, they have to remember it's not been released yet, so um, it's still a burgeoning technology. <laughs> Thank you.